I met Ben and other, other members of Court 13 last spring. I wrote a cover story for the local weekly newspaper here in New Orleans about the making of Beasts of Southern, Southern Wild. And when I came to the CAC and started doing programming, honestly the first thing I thought of was them to work with here. And, and the reason for that is the mission of, of the CAC is to, is to present the art of now uh, in all disciplines no, with, with no barriers. And that is exactly how they work. There's a seamlessness when you watch them work to, uh, to where they integrate visual art, uh, sound, music, uh, sculpture, painting. Um, in, the, in, in their films, they, uh, they create three-dimensional worlds that you can walk through. They don't do the sort of two-dimensional flat things that you see in Hollywood a lot. So there's a visual art aspect to their filmmaking which I have ne had never seen. There's a collaborative nature to what they do that is something that's, that's kind of extraordinary. And uh, we thought this space kind of suited that perfectly. They tend to use whatever they can find and they seem to take a lot of pleasure in not having to buy too many materials. New Orleans is a place where you can find a lot of things and so there are a lot of people who kind of work that way or try to. The house that Wink lives in, in the film, uh, was built from scratch by Eliza Zeitlin while, you know, in, the, in, the, in the period leading up to shooting the film, and she actually lived in that space while she was, uh, while she was building it. So it was, uh, she could test it out as a place where a person would actually live. So I guess it that, that uh, sort of touch of realism, I think, that it's a lived-in space. It was inspired by uh, Eliza's cat and was run over by a car and so when she saw this space, which is a, a glass box that, that, that looks out onto a, a major uh, intersection in downtown New Orleans, her thought was to uh, pay tribute to her cat, whose name was Slightly, because as you can see cars come down here and uh, people look over and see whatever we've got in this gallery. So. Uh, this one is uh, slightly, I think, ready to pounce on, uh, on whatever comes by. The Court 13 exhibition started with the idea of just showing their short films in the video gallery, which is called Press Play. The video gallery has four permanent screens, a large wall screen, projected screen. And uh, we talked to them about that, and as soon as we got talking, it became clear that that wasn't going to be enough for them to express themselves. <laughs> There were maybe 90 people who, uh, who worked on the film, who many of them from New Orleans went down the bayou, and about 40 were in the art department. So almost half is, is something that I have never heard of. I've been writing about film for many years and involved in film, and I've never heard of that. It's, it's, a, it's a uniquely uh, art-centric way of going about things. Mm -hmm.